Hi, I'm Tashaka Armstrong, your tech ninja. Today, we're on the rooftop of an apartment complex in the heart of Hollywood for Sprint's Media Day, where they're showing some new technology that they're rolling out. What we wanted to do is take the time to actually tell you about cell phones. What is a cell phone? Why is it called cell phone? What's the difference between GSM, CDMA, different carriers? We're going to make it all plain to you right now. What you see right here is 4G, 3G, and all of our capabilities together in one cell site. You might have always wondered why your cell phone is called a cell phone. If you're old enough, you might have wondered why your cellular phone was called a cellular phone. Well, it's because of these puppies right here. They're all around the city. They're wireless antenna. And what they do is it's kind of like throwing a rock in a pond, how you have the ripples that go out. Well, these antenna have a certain radius of uh, signal transmission, where a signal goes out, a signal comes in. Now, as you're walking, these cell towers, these cell signals, actually overlap one another, which is why it's called cell. They work from different sites. So as you're moving through the range of that wireless signal, eventually what's going to happen is, imperceptibly to you, which kind of means you don't experience it. I, I know I just like using the word imperceptible anytime I get the chance. Um, you'll actually, your phone will hand off from one tower to the next. So that's why it's called a cell again, because there's this overlapping coverage, kind of like the skin cells on your body that make it so that you never notice that you're moving from one tower to the next if everything works as it should. What are some of the challenges inherent in building out this network in a, a city the size of Los Angeles? To build a network of this size and scale in Los Angeles, you have to deal with zoning. You have to, really, it takes a small village or a nation of employees to put this together. And we're all so excited. The key element, the key challenge is how do we do it faster to make sure that we can get it fully deployed around the market as quickly as possible so that our customers can really enjoy this. And so that's really been the biggest challenge is just moving faster and faster to turn these new sites up. With our new network on the iPhone 4 and the 4S, which run on a 3G network, you're going to see a much stronger signal because, again, not only are we updating and modernizing the sites with LTE 4G, we're also improving the 3G signal so your voice quality and your data speeds will be faster than ever. Of course, no tour of a cell site, an upgraded cell site at that, would be complete without, of course, the requisite speed test. Of course, in the results you're seeing here in this test, I'm standing right outside that LTE tower. The slowest result we had was 10 meg down and 8 meg up. But again, we're standing right outside this tower, so your mileage may vary depending on where you live in proximity to this tower. Thank you for watching. I'm Tashaka Armstrong with MyFox Tech.